Well, good morning YouTube. So, first kill. So, since I got a couple of uh, comments about how to do the mounting of the squirrel, I decided I'm going to do this one on YouTube, and we'll see how that works out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do this one differently. I'm not just going to do the head. I'm going to do the head and the front claws, okay? So I watched a few videos on how to do it, and uh, red squirrel, what a pretty animal. Nice tail. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Anyway, so we're going to try that. So all I'm going to do, and I'm going to eat the squirrel too, so I don't want to ruin the meat, but um, let's see how this goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut him this way, try and get a line started in it. And you're going to need a very sharp knife, and you're going to need, I you have a razor blade as well, a couple of them, because it just made it easier on the last one that I did. And since I don't want to, I'm going to, since I'm going to do the front legs, I don't want to cut too far this way, just a little bit. And then I'm going to go around him center-wise here. That's kind of a hard decision because I like this fur. His, his fur is just beautiful on this animal. But, oh well. I'll get another one to play with that way. So once you get inside, I'm sure you guys know how to skin a squirrel. There's many ways to skin a squirrel, as they say, with cats, right? So, you know, this knife is razor sharp, and it's just not one to cut this animal, this skin. It's kind of weird. And I was going to skin him first, but it just seems kind of counterproductive to me to do it all, do it twice. So, I'm going to try and do it like this and see what happens, and if it doesn't work out... Then I'll do something else, but I think this is going to work fine. Oh, yeah. I don't care how this end looks, what I'm doing right now, because it's all going to tuck into the mount anyway. So it doesn't really matter how pretty of a job you're doing. I'm just trying to get the skin off of him on this end. So, okay, well you don't need to watch, you know what I'm doing. Just skin the animal's part that you're gonna put on your wall, whether it be the whole, the whole thing or a piece. Okay, so you can see I got it all the way around. And then I'm just going to skin it, so I'll be back. Okay, so I'm down to the leg. And this is one of the um, the parts that you that if you watch videos on how to do this, this is kind of like an important spot. So you're going to pull it down until you get to his his elbow, his where his foot is. So on this piece to that elbow right there. And then we're going to cut off his leg right here. Let's see, I got a pair of wire cutters in there, I think. And you'll understand why we're doing this. So just make sure you're down to the bone, to the elbow part. Don't pull it too far. And then we're just going to clip it off right there. It's good to use a good pair of cutters. These are cruddy. <laughs> I can't even hardly open them, but they'll work for this. Okay, so that's one, and then we're going to do the same on this one. I'm going to have to go and uh, steal some eyes off my dog's toys to get the eyes for this one. I don't have any. So, you know, you're just kind of just pulling this. You can see what I'm doing is I'm just kind of pulling the arm out. And... Um, It all comes out pretty easy, really. There's no blood. The only blood that you've got is where I shot him. And I shot this one with the new gun. And it was about a 50-yard shot. And you see what I'm doing? I'm just pulling his elbow out. 
and I decided I was going to do this before I shot him this morning. I wanted to get one that I could mount. And so this one, um, I didn't want to do a body shot, but I didn't want to hit him in the head either, so I decided a neck shot. So 50 yards, and I did an exact perfect neck shot. Now if you screw this part up, you're kind of done, actually. You won't be able to mount his feet. So make sure you don't go too far or not too not far enough. You gotta do it exactly in the right spot. It sounded like the right spot, didn't it? There it is. Okay, so I'll get back to here. The next hard part, you can see where I shot him right there in the neck. Man, it was like the I couldn't have done that shot better if I had to. It was amazing. And it was like the perfect shot. Through and through. 21.4 grain H and N match. Barracudas. They are definitely deadly. There's no doubt. It didn't just kill him, it knocked him about eight inches out of the tree. Okay, I'll be back. So I got it up to almost to his ears. So I use this is where I'm using the razor blade. You can see it's just it just cut the the skin off. Be careful. You don't want to, when you get to his ear, I mean, you got a little bit of leeway to screw it up. But um, you don't want to cut, you know, cut his ear off or make a big mess out of it. So just take your time. My garage, for some reason, has got so many mosquitoes in it this year. And then I reach under and feel where his ear is. To see if I'm to it yet because I don't want to screw it up see and so and the two hardest parts to do to me are his eye and his ear his ears but you can see what I'm doing you just keep cutting around it and get on the other side and just keep pulling and cutting this cutting the skin off it's tedious, but it, you know, like in real time, it's going to take me less than an hour. So, okay, I'm off. Come back in a minute.